A hundred and thirty, page fifty nine. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor. Alleluia. With these sentiments, I welcome all of you to participate more fully in the life of Jesus. We are all believers here, and there are miracles that can be worked out if we have belief. We know that. And so let us now prepare ourselves with this exposition prayer and the Jubilee year prayer. Lord God, our loving Father, in the history of salvation, you call, form, and send the human person. We lift our hearts in thanksgiving to you for the divine call and mission of St. Francis Xavier. Fixing his gaze on the cross of your son, he underwent a change of heart Leaving aside worldly honor and with missionary zeal, he became an ardent of the good news. As we prepare ourselves for the solemn exposition of his relics and for the Jubilee year 2025, we implore you to strengthen our communion by the power of the cross. In the life of the word and in the true spirit of synodality, guide our path to participate in the mission you have entrusted to us, so that by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we may become joyful messengers of the good news. Amen. With these sentiments now, further, let us sign ourselves and enter into this celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear sisters and brothers, you have your intentions in mind. Kindly keep them. And we shall also pray for the special intentions of this Mass. There are people who are celebrating their uh, wedding anniversaries and other birthday celebrations. So let's keep them all in mind and pray for them. We shall ask the Lord to forgive us our sins and say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Bow your heads and receive this blessing. May Almighty God, our loving Father, have mercy on us as children, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have come to know the grace of our Lord's res resurrection, may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen attentively to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, 
went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any belonging to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now, as he journeyed, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from the heaven flashed about him. And he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, hearing the voice, but seeing no one. Saul arose from the ground, and when his eyes were opened, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And for three days he was without sight, neither ate nor drunk. Now there was a disciple at Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Here I am, Lord. And the Lord said to him, Rise and go to the street called Straight and inquire in the house of Judas for a man of Tarsus named Saul. For behold, he is praying, and he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to bind all who call upon thy name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the sons of Israel. For I will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias departed and entered the house. And laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road by which you came, has sent me that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight. Then he rose and he was baptized and took food and was strengthened. For several days he was with the disciples at Damascus and in the synagogues immediately he proclaimed Jesus saying, He is the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsible psalm will be, Go into the world and preach the good news. Kindly repeat. Going Go into the world and preach the good news. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Response, go into the world and preach the good news. Going to all the world and preach the good news. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews disputed among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh 
of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who eats me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not such as the fathers ate and died. He who eats this bread will live forever. This he said in the synagogue as he taught at Capernaum, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like Paul, each one of us is being touched by the Lord so that we can come to proclaim Jesus is the Son of God and that He is my Savior. He is the Son of God. So in Jesus, all of us become children of God. We have been created in the likeness and image, but we lost that. But now in Jesus, we are once again claimed into Him becoming His body. So each one of us are cells in His body. When we eat Him and when we drink His blood, we become one with Him. So different parts and cells of his body, unique ones. No one is a duplicate here. Everyone is unique. Paul did not understand that. He had the concept, but then the scriptures limited him and did not take him further, the Torah. Now with Jesus, he begins to open his eyes. Scales fell from his eyes and the eyes of faith opened up. And now he began to see differently because not he, it is in Jesus that he began to see guided by the Holy Spirit. And all of us, my dear sisters and brothers, are daily making this journey towards becoming more and more one with Jesus so that we become children of God and to live as Jesus lived because when we serve one another, we are serving Him because He in us is serving through us His own body. And this is how we build up His kingdom here on earth. Let us thank God for this clarity of vision that we have and let us now give an accurate response during the rest of the part of the Mass, when we look at Jesus at the Blessed Sacrament, let us say, like Thomas, my Lord and my God. A proclamation of our faith in Him. And secondly, when we receive Him, don't be just distracted looking here and there. Be present to Him, close your eyes, and let Him reformat you so that you conform to that unique person that you're meant to be in Jesus. Just let's hold our hands like this. Keep them in your lap. Keep your back straight. Close your eyes. <clears throat> and be present to Jesus. At every breath, He is in us. <clears throat> and everything in us is in Jesus. Our thoughts, our feelings, our attitudes, our intentions, our memory, it's all in Him. Empty it all out in Jesus' name so that we are internally free to become what Jesus in us wants to be. And this will bring us great joy, happiness, peace, enthusiasm, 
and make us more like Jesus, serving the other as one own self. Lord, we thank you for all these graces and we want to surrender ourselves to you completely through this offer tree. Amen. P34, come to the Lord, page 75, B34. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice and offering of ourselves and our prayers may be acceptable to God our loving Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, <clears throat> for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and in, even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, <clears throat> Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy, religious and your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United to Jesus, let us allow his spirit to pray in us and make us all one in him. And not only us, let us keep the whole world, our country. Let us pray for all the intentions and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. United to Jesus, let's turn to each other with some sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Page 134, take this and eat, D86, D86. Take this and eat it for 
Let us pray. <clears throat> we have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the joy and peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let us say together, O devoted servant of God, St. Francis Xavier, your heart was burning with love for Jesus. Impelled by this love, we went from country to country, spending yourself unto death, proclaiming the name of Jesus and the good news of salvation. That is why the Father filled you with glory in heaven and preserved your body from corruption here on earth. Filled with joy for these unique gifts, we join in praising the Father. And now we ask your intercession for ourselves. You may pray for whatever you want through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier. We ask you to obtain for us the fulfillment of these desires if they are pleasing to the Father. And for everything, together with you, we praise the Father through Jesus in the Spirit. Amen. Just to clarify that today's psalm was only four lines. It is the shortest psalm in the entire uh, psalm uh, collection, which is 150 psalms. And this 116th psalm is uh, consisting of only four lines. That's why we all got confused. So that's it. Many generations have passed to the sea. We are fortunate to inherit the way to Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, we are alive. Say, friends and Savior, pray for us. We may need the Lord will be received. We may joy to all the world and light to all we bring. Say, Francis, Savior, pray for. 